Hi, welcome back to Kimmy's Garage. Today we're going to show you how to double flare a hard line. We will focus on how to use the manual flaring tool. The first step is to cut the line. The end of the line must be clean and smooth. Some kits come with a tube cutter. You need one regardless. Tubing cutters work best when the blade is tightened after every pass. You don't want to load the brake line into the cutter and just crank down the cutting wheel. Tighten the cutting head once every pass around the line to get a clean cut. Before placing the tubing into the flaring tool, the hard line center hole must be deburred. Then the fitting must be slid into the line. Don't forget this as you cannot install the fitting once the line is flared. Make sure that the fitting is on the line and facing the right direction before flaring the end. The flaring tool base is easiest to manage when secured in a vise but can be used without a vise if necessary. The hard line should be loaded into the corresponding hole and the wing nut clamps tightened enough to hold the line. Each tool comes with a set of dies. Each die is specific for a line. The die must match the line you are flaring. Once this is set, the wing nuts can be fully tightened. Note that the line is clamped into the base flush with the step on the die. Next, the die is inserted into the line with the stub sliding into the line itself. The stub drops itself the line to secure the die. The press locks over the base and over the die. The press is threaded down until the die touches the base. This is the bubble portion of the flare. The press is released and then the die removed. The press is once again positioned over the line and threaded down. You just need to go hand tight, don't crank too hard on it or you can damage the flare. The finished flare sits against the fitting and when installed will provide the seal for the fluid. The final flare sits in the fitting and is ready for installation in the vehicle. Flaring lines is easy as long as you follow the directions. Next time you need to replace a hard line on your vehicle, you can be proud that you made it yourself. And of course, you have any apprehensions, you can always call Aerospace Components for assistance. We hope this video was useful for your aerospace brake install. Happy racing. See you again soon.